when scanning within Artec Studio, you're not always going to end up with a watertight model or, or a model that's free of holes or jagged edges. So the Edges tab allows you to deal with that and, and maybe clean up the model a little bit more depending on what you're trying to do. So I have this Fast Fusion. I ran a Fast Fusion on a spider scan, a space spider scan, so that it was just very quick, but it didn't do any work on the edges or on the holes. It just left everything. This is just one of three scans that I processed. So I can come into my Edges tab and when I'm within the edges tool, there's two tabs, holes and edges. And they're both going to populate with the edges and holes that you see over here. So I can do a couple things here. I'll just show you, if I just select a couple holes here, I can come in, select them. Maybe I want to fill all these. So I've selected them here. I find that's uh, the easiest way to do it if you want to go in and just fill specific holes. Otherwise, you could sort by hole size and then select these individual boxes to the left to select them. Um, but I'm just going to select those holes and click Fill Holes here. And it filled in those holes that I had selected. So you can do that here on the Holes tab of the Edges tool. But Something that's even more useful a lot of times is when you export this data, a lot of programs don't like to see jagged edges, right? Um, you know, I don't want to just fill in all these holes because it's just going to have a, it's just going to chop it off. Um, it's, it's not really necessary for a lot of, a lot of different types of work on, on meshes like this. So what I do want to do though is come to my edges tab and maybe smooth out these really jagged areas. So I'm going to zoom in here. Let's select this edge and notice what it does. So it highlights that selected edge in red, but then it gives you a preview of, of what the smoothed edge is going to look like in yellow. So I can come in and adjust my slider to either, either give it more smoothing or less smoothing. So I'm just going to put that all the way up and say smooth edges. And now we're left with a much cleaner looking hole. I could do that down here. Now this hole is pretty jagged. There we go. Okay. This hole is pretty jagged. Um, it's the really large one. So I could actually come through and say smooth edges. And then select it again. And just keep smoothing it. Keep in mind that this could affect the accuracy around the hole. But if what you really need around here is more of a, a smooth edge, then this gives you the tool to do that. So when you're done, make sure you click Apply. And that is the hole smoothing and hole filling uh, portion of Artec Studio.